Hi everyone, my name is Amy, this is The Opinionated Woman, and welcome to my channel. Um, today, we're going to do a video, yet another video, which I've never done before, which is a TBR. Um, I'm not really the type of person who likes to have like a set monthly TBR, I'm very much a mood reader, and I don't like to set myself something that might make it pressurized, because obviously reading is fun. I just want to be having some fun around here. So, so I got this idea from Leonie from the book Leo. I saw her do like a summer TBR where she went and picked it like live from her shelves because obviously this will be my physical TBR. This is not audio book wise. That is just whatever the mood takes me. That is what I'm reading. Um, so today I thought I'm going to take you along to my bookshelves and we're going to pick out uh, one from each shelf color because that's how I pick my books. Um, to find out what I'm going to be reading for the next next little while. So let's get into it. So for the first one, we're not moving anywhere because it is from my borrowed book pile and my borrowed book pile is only one book long right now. So that's an easy one. And that is Hunger by Roxane Gay. Um, I just recently read a script original that she did called Writing in the Wound and in that she discusses some of the things that happened uh, prior to this being um, been released and it's very interesting it's a memoir about her like experience living in a fat body and it sounded absolutely fascinating so as soon as i saw this on my siblings bookshelves i was like let's get into it so that's book number one greetings from my floor hello sir are you gonna help are you gonna help me pick books okay so this is the shelf that has my black and white books on it, as well as my yellow ones and my like beigey kind of looking ones. Um, so let's see what we've got. Um, with the black shelf, it's actually really easy. We're going to be here the whole time. <laughs> Good boy. You're in the way of the books, my lad. Come here. Come sit here. Come sit here. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so on the black shelf, there's actually only one book that I haven't read, and that is The Chess Machine by Robert Ooh. Or How do you say that name? L little dot, dot keys HR. Um, so this is the only book that I have on my black shelf that I haven't read. Yeah, this one, isn't that interesting? Um, I know it's got something to do with an inventor. It's a historical fiction. It's got to do with an inventor who creates a, um, automaton sort of that, that plays chess but actually secretly there's a um, little person inside operating it um, that's all I know about it but um, I took it from my family home so I think it's one of my siblings books as well um, but yeah I'm interested to get into it and see see what kind of story it is because I'm going in very blind which as you know if you watch this channel at all I really enjoy so that is the black book now white books when it comes to the white books, I only have three that I haven't read. One of them is a non-fiction, and because I've already got a non-fiction on my pile, and I'm reading on non-fiction currently, I'm not going to pick another one. Um, so that kind of leaves me with Credo by Melvin Bragg, which I've never read. It's also one of my parents' books. Um, I don't actually know what it's about. But the one that I think I'm going to go for is He by um, John Connolly. This is about, uh, is it Laurel from Laurel and Hardy? Um, I'm, I can't remember his name, um, his first name. But um, yeah, it's a very unusual um, story for John Connolly to be handling because he usually does, uh, as you can see here, lots of thrillers. Um, but this is a completely different one. It looks like it's written in vignettes, which is really nice. And uh, this is a proof copy that my aunt gave me, she's very kind. I do have another copy of it, which I probably can give away because I like this like slightly more compact version. So yeah, that is from the white shop. And then when it comes to yellow, I've completely read everything from the yellow and I've read everything from the beige. So right, next to the colorful shelves. Hello, welcome. We're at my colorful bookshelves now. I really apologize if I go in and out of focus here because I use my phone to film. It really does like to focus on um, anything but me <laughs> um, when I'm filming clips like this. So yeah, bear with me on that. The blue shelf is another shelf that I've read a lot from. Um, there's one, there's a couple of these uh, titles on a couple of these shelves that are for a specific reading blog. So I'm not going to include those. But on the blue shelf, I have Belcanto 
by Anne Patchett, which is an author that I've never read from before, which I would really like to try out. Um, and move my fake plant out the way. I also have How Green Was My Valley and Scatter Creek, which are another two that are from my family home, which are like my parents' books. But I think, because I've been wanting to get to it for a bit, from the blue shelf, I'm going to be picking Bel Canto by Anne Patchett. Okay, and then on, okay, and then on the rest of the shelf we have my purple books and purpley pink books, which I have completely read, and whoop, my orange books, which I've also completely read. So let's go down a level and look at my red and green shelves. Welcome down to my green shelf. I hope you can see me and that I'm not cutting my head off right now. That would be great. Um, okay, so my green shelf, I again have very limited uh, books that I haven't read from this shelf. Um, I think it's only The People in Trees by Hanya Yanagihara, which is the author of A Little Life. It's the only other book that she has. I think she has another one coming out this year, or is it next year? Possibly. Um, this one is for another vlog. And then um, The Butterfly Room by Lucinda Riley, which is an author I'm also trying to find out. Do I like her? Is she cheesy? I don't know. Um, <laughs> and The Maze Runner. But I think what is speaking to me is People in Trees by Hanya Yanagihara. Um, so this one is about, oh, Belcanto is about an opera singer, by the way. That's all I know about Belcanto. This is about a doctor who goes to a remote Micronesian island in search of a lost like tribe of people. And uh, he brings some of these people back with him. And I think it's about, um, yeah, like when cultures collide and a misuse of power and all of that kind of thing. So that's super interesting, really pretty cover. And I'm just to get into that one. Then lastly, since I've read everything on the gray shelf, shall I do this? Yes, I'll do that. Um, let's move fake plant out of the way. Um, the only ones I haven't read on here, I mean, this Renoir is literally just um, his paintings, so I'm not going to read that. Um, not all in one sitting as a book anyway. Out of all these books, the only book that I haven't read is Towards an Arch Architecture by Le Corbusier. Let me get that out. Okay, so this I bought when I was an architecture student because Le Corbusier is a, um, he founded, he, he was like one of the founders of modernism and brutalism and obviously lots of pictures, <laughs> but I thought it might be an interesting read because I'm still interested in architecture. I still love architecture. I just did not want to work in that industry. So this could be an interesting one for me to just read, you know, on a whim. So yeah, let's see if I want to read this big, chunky <laughs> um, architectural theory book. But um, yeah, I think it might be a good one. So from my own shelf, Le Corbusier. Okay, folks, and there we have it. This is my little pile. These are the pile. This is the pile of books that I will be reading for oh, thumbnail. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Um, this is the pile of books that I will be reading for the next little while, for the next, um, I don't know, however long it takes me to read these, it's really hard for me to judge. So yeah, I think that was a very successful pick and thank you for coming along with me for the ride. If you enjoyed this video and want me to do it again, please let me know because I thought this was, <laughs> this was a lot of fun. So getting to chat about the books that I want to read without actually anybody that I live with being, or, or anybody being in the house that I live in. <laughs> <laughs> given a, a, a solitary a solitary little bean someone to chat to while she picks out her books uh, so I really hope you enjoyed this if you did give me a like subscribe etc tickle my bell for notifications and I'll check you next time